All right, tell us, what are we seeing here? So I'm going to introduce you to Chrome, the free scanning app. It's a free app you can download on an iPhone or Android. Everything you see here was scanned with this phone. Here's an example of a shoe. Really nice detail. Thank you so much. 4K resolution. Merging two scans allows us also to get the bottom of it. Great. So we're going to do a live scan now of this horse? We're going to do horse. a live scan and I'm going to show you some new magical feature. Okay. So what's going on with this grid here? You print this grid from the app. You go here to the menu, yep. get mat, and you just print it. So the mat, explain, explain to me what the mat does. So, so for people that don't know what, what they're seeing. The mat is helping us solve the problem of understanding the 3D position of the camera because we're using a regular TV camera and not a depth sensor. Oh, so you don't have to, you can use any camera for this, any phone. Any camera. What? Any phone. All right, let's exactly. check this out. So this mat helps it realize where it is in 3D space exactly. when, you, when you use a regular RGB camera. All right. I press the plus button after I place the product on the mat, yep. and I have an AR dome. I press record, and I can just start moving around, removing the, those tiles, those blue tiles. Got it. Or I can rotate it this way. Got it. Okay. So you see, it's very easy for everyone to actually scan with clone. All you got to do is remove the four rings of those tiles. And you can already see on the lower right corner, while I'm doing this, a preview of the results. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. Let's take the top view here. All right. And the last ring down below. And we're done. And now, one, two, three, and we have a model with texture and everything. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. And I can now make the second scan to add the parts that I couldn't see in the first scan. Got it. But let's move forward to see what other options we have. So we have some modifiers to clean and fix the mesh or the texture if we need, all in the app. And I can then immediately export the file, the 3D data, all the 3D formats like OBJ, STL, the new USDZ from Apple is here, GLB, which is GLTF binary for the Facebook 3D in the feed, and others. I can send a video to the one of the social network options here. Great. So this is really a consumer app. And then if you want to send it to G, you know, GC Trader or Sketchfab exactly. and sell it, you can then it you to... pay but the subscription. Let me show you one more thing. But wait, there's more. there's more. It dices, it slices, it makes julienne fries. So I'm going to press the AR button of here. Of course you are. And I'm going to place it right here next to the other one. What? And I'm going to press the display button here and see what happens. It animates automatically. What? Automatic rigging and automatic animation of the model based on the characteristics of the model. Which one's real, which one's not? <laughs> okay, that's just cool. Thank you. All right. Well, that is Clone from IQ Vision Technologies. Thank you, Ronan. Appreciate My it. Pleasure. From CES 2019.